Hello, everybody. Shaquita Graham here. I am your host for the Nubian Essence Luxury Business and Wellness Retreat happening in June. And I am so happy that you're here because I have a very special guest with me. Her name is Sheila Sherman. And she is a person that educates people about the positive uses for essential oil. So I'm so excited to have her here because I just recently started tapping into the benefits of essential oils and and um, I'm learning that there are a lot of things that we need to look to essential oils to help us with. Sheila, how are you doing today? I'm doing just wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. Yes, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for giving of your time, your wisdom, and your experience to share this information with us. Because in our community, um, there's many different obstacles uh, that are in the way of our health and our wellness. And we have different tools that we can utilize. In many cases, tools that are not that expensive, I feel like we should begin to take that knowledge and share it amongst one another and pass it down to um, other generations. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do related to essential oils and how you got involved in it? Absolutely. First of all, I also want to thank you and let you know how much I appreciate this opportunity to share. This is really close to my heart. I just love, one, talking about health, two, talking about essential oils. And so whenever I have an audience, I'm just really hyped. So thank you so much for that. Okay, your first question is, how did I get into essential oils? Mm -hmm. This is a story that goes back 10 years ago, and I really fell upon essential oils accidentally. I was always someone who was into health and alternative health. So I, was, I had explored homeopathy. I had explored health with my diet and had really become very pristine with my diet. And if you've heard of raw foods and being a raw foodist, I had become a raw foodist. I just was um, adamant about empowering myself and taking control of my health. Mm. My sister called me one day and said, you have to check out these essential oils. And I had heard of aromatherapy, but had no idea what it was. And except for you smelled some stuff and it made you feel better. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. I mean, that was my first reaction. And it might be the reaction of a lot of people when they hear about essential oils. But essential oils actually have a physiological reason why they work and they actually help elevate our bodies for optimal health. I didn't know it at the time, but I decided to try it because I tried to be open-minded and check into other things. And once I tried it, the difference that it made directly to me, even immediately with uplifting my mood, um, I had just had a, a baby and my moods weren't so great <laughs> as, you know, sometimes that happens. And it, they immediately uplifted my mood. And as time went on, a few weeks went on, I decided I had to know more about these essential oils because I literally felt things happen in my body, particularly with my neck. Mm -hmm. um, and I just had a stiff neck. I don't know what it was, but I know that it went away after I started using essential oils. So I started researching, and as I researched, I learned more and more and more about the oils and just fell in love with not only what they do, but the aromas of essential oils are just spectacular. So how long ago was this when you first got started and, and involved in that? Yes, I've been working, or I've been using essential oils for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, about seven years ago, I decided to start teaching people about essential oils. Prior to that, I was just using it for my home use, for my family, for my children. Um, at the time, I was raising and had six kids in the house. And so I was just using it for them and me and my friends. And the more I learned, the more I was shoving essential oils in my friends' faces. And then one day I said, I want to teach. I want to teach a wider audience. So I took a class so that I could learn more about the oils. And um, after that class, I started teaching. 
Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Um, because for me, when I heard essential oils, I'm thinking it's oils with some smell in it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it could, I thought maybe it could be used for a perfume or a room deodorizer. I mean, yeah. I was just like, okay, aromatherapy, it smells good. So can you kind of break down what exactly are essential oils? And maybe you can even tell us why do you find them to be important related okay. to wellness and health? Okay, awesome. Uh, first of all, essential oils go back thousands of years ago. Essential oils literally can be have been found in the tombs of Egyptian mummies. Mm. And that is as far as oils go. And, you know, they didn't go to pharmacies. And I'm not knocking pharmacies, but I'm just saying they didn't have those types of uh, establishments to go to. And so what they did was they use essential oils in their everyday lives. So what so, are they though? So what essential oils are is from the plants. Plants have been here from the beginning. So basically, we like to call them the life's blood of a plant. They come from the stems, the leaves, the petals in some cases, the bark in some cases of getting, getting essential oils from trees. It comes from those plant matters being distilled. So in most cases, it's distilled. Sometimes they're cold pressed. The distillation process is a process that separates the oil from the, the, the plant matter. The pulp. And, I'm sorry? Like it separates the oil from like a pulp in a sense, right? Exactly, that, yes, uh -huh. yes. It's not grinded to a pulp, but it's steam. It's steam dis distilled. Uh -huh. And so that steam helps to separate the oil from the plant. So when you're thinking about, say, herbal remedies, uh -huh. what works in herbal remedies or the herbs is the oil. It's the oil in the herb that is actually... Um, causing or, or helping with the, the making the body uh, more healthy. Mm -hmm. And so when you take the oils, here's another example. Um, in juicing, if you know about juicing, you take like eight carrots and you juice it and you get, you know, this much carrot juice, but it's concentrated. It's the same with essential oils. So it's like one drop of peppermint is like 32 bags of peppermint tea. So we get that um, the power from the essential oils concentrated. And because of that, those oils help to, when we apply and we do, we use the essential oils or even smell the essential oils, those molecules from the essential oils is what does the, the, the work for us. Wow. I, and I'm saying, wow, because, you know, how can something be right under your nose, no pun intended, yeah. but you don't have any idea that mm -hmm. this has this power or that the two are related or any of that. So I want to break down a little bit of what you said. So you say these herbs, these plants. What and and I really just made this connection maybe two days ago because I'm like, what the heck? I, it seems like I'm hearing essential oils that are like thyme, oregano. I'm like, you talking about the thyme that I'm putting in my uh my dressing for Thanksgiving? My oregano that I'm putting in a tomato sauce. There's an oil, and that oil actually has some type of property that does something to my body that can affect my body. And then yes. I'm starting to connect, okay, the spices, the oils, the herbs, the plants. Mm -hmm. I'm not even, like, at first, I wasn't seeing the plants. Like, somebody was saying, I was watching um, a, an herbalist. He's saying that a lot of these plants, you can go outside in your yard and see a lot of these plants growing wild. And that is the, that's the secret to it because mm -hmm. it is a God-given thing. You know, yes. it's not something that was made in a laboratory. They're just growing wild because God created them to be here or the creator, whoever you want to call it, 
made said that this is good and and mm-hmm. created this and nobody nobody like man made went into a lab and just put all of these things together yeah. so that you can get white diamonds or whatever um that you you put on as perfume so mm-hmm. i thought that that was really interesting and so now you i love how you put the component of the fruit because I think everybody right now is a trending thing. Think about smoothies and juicing and getting the essence out of something that is live. Mm-hmm. And so now you bring it back to essential oils. I, so what kinds of um, herbs that we might be familiar with uh, mm-hmm. turn into essential oils? And what is the importance of them? How, how is that... Um, can you kind of co- compare and contrast the herbs that we are now learning, how important they are, and the essential mm-hmm. oils? Mm-hmm. I want to touch on something that you said. You you use the word the essence, and that's exactly what it is. It's the essence of that plant, and then um, that essence being God-given, so that that is what is in the plant. That is what was given to us to use for our health when our health starts to um, have some challenges. So we were given that and it's there. And that discovery was made years ago, but even more recently, that discover, this discovery was sort of rediscovered in like the 30s and the 40s. But it was, it took some time. It took some time to come into the forefront. And You also asked, why is it important? And I wanted to answer that and why the oils are are important is because they literally can affect every part of your body, everything from your emotions to your, um, your, your body to even you know, talk, uh, non-toxic cleaning in the home. I mean, they are something that you literally can integrate into your daily life. And they're so versatile. So to answer your question about what, what um, oil, peppermint, peppermint, everyone knows peppermint. They put oil in the peppermint lozenges from when we were like kids, those little red and white little candies, that has a little bit of peppermint oil in it. Mm -hmm. And we have the peppermint oil, but peppermint oil has over 50 different uses for peppermint oil. So the versatility that you can use, um, I like to kind of say it this way, there's an oil Uh, citronella. You've heard of citronella. Citronella Mm -hmm. is what they use to chase the mosquitoes away. Um, It (laughs) It does work. Well, there's actually an oil citronella. And I use that during the summertime, right? To keep away those pests. But I can also use citronella to help build my immune system. So how many mosquito chasers, <laughs> do you know, that can help build your immune system. Oh my God. There's 50 other different uses. So the versatility of them make them a very, very smart choice. The power of them make them a very, very smart choice because just a few drops can do a lot. Wow. This there's so much to say about this guys and Sheila I'm so glad that you're going to be with us today to talk more in depth about this um we are going to do a series at Nubian Essence Live where we are you know really kind of digging into essential oils and we're really you know Nubian Essence Live is there to be your online health and wealth destination and you know I definitely want you to go to our site, NubianEssenceLive.com. There we're talking about the retreat that's happening in Atlanta in June, but we're also offering these different options for you for business and wellness and all of these different things. So Sheila and I are going to talk more in depth about this, but I just want to say you mentioned peppermint. And it's so weird because again, like you said, it's just in things that we have no idea. And I recently discovered spearmint oil. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't know what these are. We don't know. I mean, I, I'll just speak for myself. I didn't know a, a spearmint from a peppermint. I didn't know it was a plant, a mint plant. Um, you know, I see mint herbs around now. And so I discovered spearmint and I took spearmint and some other ingredients and made a toothpaste mm -hmm. for me and my kids because, you know, we have toxins all around us. And I, I talk to people about things like obesogens and different toxins that have been proven and medical research has been done about how they affect things like these um, so-called ailments or diseases or whatever you want to call it. These names that they give you, they might give a name of cancer, they might give a name of this or that. You might have problems losing weight or you might have problems all of these different things, but you don't understand that just like there's an essential oil in the plant, there are these other chemicals, you know, mm -hmm. that are affecting us. So something like spearmint, I can put it in a toothpaste, but it also has qualities that some consider to be medicinal, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's the thing that I really want us to delve into because I personally did not make a connection between herbs and essential oils that mm -hmm. the oil is coming out the essential oil is coming out of the herb so mm -hmm. if you buy into herbs which i do and i talk a lot about the different herbs that have changed my life personally and even though i'm not a doctor she was not a doctor we're talking about just simple things that we have tried that have made a difference for us and the difference is so important is because you know, we have people depending on us every day mm -hmm. and um, we're, we're trying to accomplish things. We want to be business women and career women and boss chicks and all of this, but we don't have the mental capacity or the health and wellness to contribute to that. To that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. again, we're going to talk more, but Sheila, can you just wrap us up with a few things that we should consider about essential oils and maybe even go into a little bit more of what we'll be talking about at Nubian Essence Live, please? Sure, absolutely. Um, just to recap, and you said it so nicely in about the um, Nubian Essence Live, um, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing with helping to educate and providing this education to our community. Because what's really my passion in my heart is to help get the message out that we can take control of our health. And just a, a back note, I watched my mother suffer and then pass away at an early age from the, the uh, effects of diabetes. Mm -hmm. And that actually is what sent me on my health journey to do something differently than what I was raised with. And my mother was a beautiful woman. Woman, I know we, you know, we love our mothers. And yet, back in that um, era, it was really not taking hold of our own health, but just letting other people tell us after we are already declining in health, well, this is your problem, and here are the medicines to help you. And you talked about toxins. And so back in the day, toxins were not around like they are today, believe it or not. In the 60s, we did not have this onslaught of toxins, pesticides, um, fast food restaurants. I remember growing up and, and barely ever having fast food restaurant food, and now it's everywhere. And so this is the overload that comes into our bodies. This is why it's very, very important. I don't want anyone to listen to me or to you. I want them to follow their instincts to take care of themselves and then educate themselves. It really is about empowerment through education. And that is what the, um, the course is about, empowering you and taking some of the scary stuff out so you don't feel so afraid to try something new. I've been doing it for 10 years with great success. All I could do is tell you my experience, but you'll be blown away from my experience and the results as we go on to talk about those things. So we'll be delving more into um, what, what makes essential oils work 
and also what are some of the systems and oils that will help some of the systems of the body um, and also we'll, we'll talk about like how do you use them I want to take some of that scariness out of it and also encourage you to do your education and provide resources for you as well where you could do your own steps towards beginning your journey of health. Last thing I'd say is that our health affects everything. It affects our relationships. It affects our energy level. It affects being our, you know, these boss chicks. I mean, if you're tired, if you're not feeling well, if your children are not feeling well, that is going to affect your everyday life and how you perform in the roles, the many roles that women have. So I really want to encourage people to uh, step out and really look at their health and consider how essential oils might be able to help you elevate. It's all about elevation. All right, guys. Well, you heard it from a specialist in the area who has definitely done her research. I have definitely seen results. And, you know, when we say your health is your wealth, it's something we want you to remember, but not in a cliche way, you know, because your health, meaning the way that you take care of this body, it is is everything it's mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. so what are you doing every day what are you doing in the morning and afternoons in the nights to take care of your body and the bodies that you live with because mm -hmm. as a mother and a wife i feel responsible for the things that are my my husband and my children are ingesting you know, the things that I go and spend our money on and bring into this house for them to ingest. When, you know, there's an issue with my children or whether it's just me trying to nurture them, I don't want to open up a cabinet and all I have is synthetics, you know? I want to have things that I can reach to besides a NyQuil, besides an Advil. And I'm not saying anything about those brands. I'm just saying that I want to have some options that where I feel mm -hmm. like I can contribute to making them better in every way. So I want to thank Sheila again. Guys, do come to NubianEssenceLive.com. Learn about the retreat that we're having in June. We're closing that out soon because we want it to be an amazing experience. And that means we have to plan ahead. So please, if you're interested in coming, go ahead and reserve your space. It's not, it's not very much for, for you to do that. And um, come to NubianEssenceLive.com and continue getting conversation and insights like this that can contribute to your wealth because we're focusing on your health and your wealth, okay? It's an inside out job, guys. Thanks again, Sheila, and we'll see you all at the platform.